Well, Seattle's going to do its Seattle thing, and it's raining out here. Um, however, today I do have a few figs that I want to share with you guys. Uh, and I have already a few that's already picked. got a brown turkey. I've got a uh, Burns brown turkey. And a uh, Violet Solis. I've also got another Preto right here on the tree that can be picked, which is kind of nice. This, my Violet Solis came from this tree right here. It's doing something really, really weird. Weeping almost. I'm not sure if I like that very much. Um, and we've got another one over here. This one is the Osborne Prolific that came from Garden Crochet. Check this out right here. This is my Desert King. These are Desert King main crops. Um, they're not supposed to ripen, but sometimes in a long season, this one is in the greenhouse. They'll get to a state where they're actually somewhat edible. Now let's pull this one off. Oops, fell right off. And let's see what it looks like from the inside. It's coming down over here, but we're gonna pull off some MBSBs as well. These are Marseille VS Black. I got several other figs that are very close to ripening. I have a main crop Fiorone de Ruval that um, starting to limp and these guys are nice and huge love that black madeira almost there and then walking around in the rain and slippers probably not a great idea uh the pellegrino right here looks a lot like a longa dute okay so now that i picked off all the fruit uh, this one is the violet solis a little bit slug uh, attacked. This one is a brown turkey. Burns brown turkey. This one is not fully ripe yet. I can tell. Usually they get a lot darker than that. This one is a Marseille VS Black. Desert King main crop. And this one is an Osborne Prolific. I think it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's gone sour. That's the second one that's gone sour on me. And then another Preto. Nice big size. Another Marseille. There you go. Okay, so let's uh, give these guys a weight test here. It's a larger Burns Brown Turkey. It's a big one, 72.7 grams. I got the old fashioned Brown Turkey at 52 grams. And we got Preto, a little bit bigger than the last one. This one is 41 grams. I'm gonna weigh this guy anyways. This is a Osborne Prolific, 34.5 grams. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this. I don't want uh, butt faucet later. Gross. Uh, 22.1 grams for the Desert King main crop. Marseille VS Black at 18 and a half. And the Violet Solis, 36.7. I love this time of year, one, because it's today's actually my birthday, September 29th. But two, around my birthday time frame is when all the figs ripen, so I love that. And uh, so it's like a nice, it's a nice gift from my yard to me. Oh, that is not good. That one is rotten. need to cut that second Burns Brown Turkey. Let's cut this Preto. Oh, beautiful. I don't even want to touch the knife to this Osborne Prolific. And I don't want it to... Uh, it looks kind of nasty. Anyhow, let's take a closer look at these guys. Here we go. Let's start from the top to the bottom. So my Violet Solis is not edible. That is a shame because I've been looking forward to this one. Looks like I uh, got hit with a bit of fungus or something. Something yucky. There's the um, brown turkey. Bird's brown turkey. 
Marseille vs Black, looking delicious. Desert King Bane Crop. So look how much smaller that is than the uh, the Brebas. Um, they are edible. They're not as good, but they are edible. Osborne Prolific, which I won't even touch, and then the Pareto. So, um, but compost, compost. Bye bye. Anyhow, uh, let's try out these figs. Okay, so we're gonna start right here with the the brown turkey. You know what's interesting is I've had this brown turkey for a couple days now in the fridge and um, actually looks like uh, it has gotten sweeter since it's been in there so um, it's pretty delicious not bad not bad I'd probably give this a rating of like I don't know six to six and a half here's the birds brown turkey a lot bigger I get like four bites out of this guy. Hmm. Very mild. Sweet. But very um, mildly sweet. Now this could have gone another, I don't know, two or three days. And it would have been a lot better than this. But I kind of like my uh, figs a little bit more melony and not so intense and jammy and syrupy to the point where you know you you got the roof of your mouth stuck to your the, your tongue. So that's kind of what I like. Marseille vs Black. Oh, yeah. now this Marseille vs Black, so rich, so sweet. Not overly sweet that your face is going to make that pucker fades, um, but. Right on. Right. I feel like I could spread this on some toast to be good. I'd give this, I'd give this fig, um, I believe we gave it seven and a half to eight. As far as the virgin brown turkey, this particular one, I would give it probably close to a five. And then the uh, Desert King main crop. Let's try that out. Desert King main crop, San Pedro fig. You know, not supposed to ripen here, so. Yeah. <coughs> Gross. It's kind of inedible. I didn't like it. It's a little bit watery, kind of mushy. No sweetness whatsoever. And uh, I say pass on that. I mean, I love the Brebas, but this is like a uh, this is like a .5 on the taste scale. So let's move over to something that's on the opposite end of the spectrum. Pareto, beautiful looking fig. Oh, man. Oh, now this one ranks right up there with the Black Madeira that I've had. So good. Not as good, but it's quite good. Um, this is definitely closer to a nine on the on the taste scale. Anyhow guys, I wanted just to do a quick video. Um, it's raining and so I didn't want to spend too much time outside here in the garden, but uh, thanks again for joining me. You know, I'll have some more upcoming videos here soon. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye-bye.